good morning friends this is the dr halappa gujera department of electronics university of mysore so in this session i am going to discuss about antennas particularly micro strip patch antenna what is micro strip patch antenna how it can be designed what are the design guidelines and how to model and simulate using em simulator i am using hfss that is high frequency structure simulator and uh, i am going to introduce you people how to model each and every part of micro strip patch antenna and finally we can simulate see here you can find different types of antennas like wire antenna or antenna reflector antenna loop antenna like that here also you can find bagu with antenna see there is a huge reflector micro strip patch antenna is one which is having a ground plane of a good conductor and above the ground plane there is a substrate dielectric substrate and above the substrate we have another conductor called patch patch may be of any shape and it is fed with here what i am showing is coaxial pro feed it can be fed with a different feeding also so micro strip patch antenna is uh, very dominated you can find in all applications like uh, mobile and wireless applications here i have shown some of the diagrams again how the micro strip patch antenna looks like and uh, you can see now the different types of feedings that is coaxial pro feed micro strip feed aperture feed proximity coupled feed let me show these feeding techniques how it will be in hfss okay first i am considering coaxial pro feed this is the micro strip patch antenna that is particular rectangular which is fed with coaxial pro feed see this is the probe it contains three different parts one is outer conductor is a pure conductor and then there is inner conductor these two are separated by a dielectric material and it is fed properly in a suitable position where we can exactly excite a particular mode this is the appearance of coaxial probe we'll see this uh, how to model mathematically based on the standard dimensions uh, i'll show you in the next video where i'm going to design coaxial probe feed completely the modeling of each and every steps i'll show you in the forthcoming video okay i think just it is for your glance i am showing you how it is looking in the vm simulator okay i hope you understood what i am what i meant to say here okay see the pro position is very much important to excite suitable okay let us go for one more feeding that is called micro strip feed it is also called strip feed here see the strip feed is attached to the main patch main patch is like a rectangular patch and there is a strip it has a very narrow width and also length but here length is also important but width is very much important width will give the proper impedance matching whether it is matched well or not that is decided by this width you can calculate the length and width of this strip by using strip calculator which is available in google or you can refer books like balanis their separate chapter is there for micro strip lines like that there you can find how to design a particular strip for a particular frequency of any shaped micro strip patch antenna okay see how it is looking here as i know as we all know there is a ground plane above the ground plane there is a substrate above the substrate we have a patch along with the strip and it is good okay let me discuss one more uh, feeding technique that is called aperture feed as you can see the structure uh, three layer structure i have shown above and also the simulated version of the same i am showing here as we know it has a micro strip line at the below above the micro strip line there is a substrate with epsilon r1 is placed the dimensions of this substrate is equal to the ground plane dimension and above the substrate we have a ground plane ground plane with a slot etched in the particular position of the uh, ground plane and above the ground plane we have another substrate called epsilon r2 maybe epsilon r1 and epsilon r2 may be same or may be different you have to adjust adjust and then we have uh, another conductor called patch okay how the patch is coupled or excited by this method here 
we are supplying the signal through the strip line that is a feed line and this gap is there no that is a slot cut gap through that the patch will be coupled okay the signal microwave signal is coupled huh? energy is coupled by this gap okay now we will go for design aspects here we can estimate the width of the patch by using this formula and also the length of the uh, patch we can estimate by uh, using this formula that is l is equal to c0 okay here l effective is estimated by using um, delta l that is a delta l is extended length of the micro strip patch antenna due to fringing field you can find this formula how to estimate the extended length of the patch and also effective epsilon r due to the fringing field these formulas we have to use it let us see one example design a rectangular micro strip patch antenna using substrate rt to write with a direct transfer 2.2 h is 0.1588 centimeter so as to resonate at 10 gigahertz these are all the formulas i am using so that i can get w is almost 1.186 centimeter epsilon is effective 1.972 like that similarly we can estimate the other uh, parameters other dimensions of the rectangular micro strip patch antenna that is l effective and also delta l delta l i got some value and also based on using delta l i can use the effective length actual length of the strip that is micro strip is almost i am getting 0 0.906 centimeter and l effective is l plus 2 delta l that we know as per the transmission line methodology i got so okay i'll show you one particular one more example i'm going to design rmpa rectangular micro strip patch antenna to resonate 5 gigahertz i need input parameters like uh, dielectric constant and height of the substrate that is 4.4 and 1.6 mm so i got the dimensions as listed above let Here us see i'm showing pictorial view of every steps of simulation what i am doing first i have considered the ground plane of estimated dimension that is l plus 6 h similarly width is width plus 6 h i am considered so that i am getting some dimensions for the ground plane above the ground plane i am showing i am placing the substrate that is also equal in dimensions compared to ground plane after that i am placing the the designed patch rectangular patch as it is as it is shown here and then finally i am placing the coaxial probe so now it looks like along with all the parts and also coaxial probe for uh, analysis purpose, I am placing that in a radiation box that is also called clean room or air box and then I am simulating. Let us see, we will discuss about the uh, simulation results. The first and foremost is reflection coefficient. Very good reflection coefficient we got here, that is a return loss characteristics here. It is more than 35 dB, exactly at the resonating frequency of 5 GHz. It has a good bandwidth also, no problem here and it indicates that more than 90 5% of the energy is radiated from the structure. So why it is considered as below 10 dB, why it is near that all we will discuss in the further videos. Okay. And from our structure we got a very good uh, reflection coefficient. Okay. Let us see uh, an another input parameters like uh, impedance matching that can be analyzed by using Smith chart. As we saw here a very good uh, impedance matching also we have achieved but little bit inductive loading and the one more uh, characteristics is vswr you can find vswr is also well matched at the desired frequency of 5 gigahertz it is less than 2 it's good and then we have the output parameter we are analyzing only one radiation characteristics in rectangular coordinates we got a very broad side radiation with a good amount of gain we have copolarized radiation as well as cross polarized radiation it is ideally a standard uh, results we got it here more than 6 dB gain we are getting and also below 20 dB we have cross pole. 